Khan A Simbangabi 2023 Devotional Day 6 Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 45 Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Welcome to day six of our nine-day Simbangabi devotional. How many times have you heard the phrase, mental health, <laughs> in the past week, the past month? I'm sure a lot. WHO, World Health Organization, says, reports that almost a billion people are affected and going through a mental health challenge at any given time. One billion people. And here's a very interesting detail about the report. More young people are going through a mental health challenge than the adults. And, and that, that is alarming. And I, my heart breaks when I meet young people who are going through these experiences, these difficulties. So how can we overcome? How can we have more joy? I mean, people are saying, young people are telling me, Brother Bo, I'm, I don't know if I'm depressed. I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm going through this extreme sadness and, and Brother Bo, I'm going through some anxiety and, and panic attacks and what, what should I do? My dear friends, this short, short, very short video cannot answer all those questions. But there's one thing I want to share with you. God wants you to have more joy in your life. He really does. And He wants you to follow Him. He wants you to surrender your life to Him. He wants you to be more grateful with the blessings that He has given to you. You know, you just follow. My, my recommendation, strong recommendation, is that you follow the Lord. You know, when I was a young boy, we go to church. And there was this old song we used to sing for Mass. And, you know, as a young kid, I kind of like knew there's something wrong with this song because the song goes this way. Enter, rejoice, and come in. Open your hearts to the Lord. Today will be a joyful day. Enter, except that it wasn't sung that way. It was sung this way. Enter, rejoice, and come in. <laughs> and then, Today will be a joyful day. There's, you know, even as a kid, I said, parang may mali. <laughs> it was like a dirge. Parang may namatay. And then at 12 years old, I entered a Catholic prayer meeting. And then all of a sudden I said, OMG, this is it. Because we began to sing, this is the day, this is the day. For the first time in my life, I saw happy Christians. I, first time in my life, I saw people, Jesus followers, who were very joyful. And then we had Mass. And at Mass, they sang the same song, but in the right way. Enter, rejoice, and come in. Open your hearts to the Lord. Today will be a, yes, joyful day. You know, it was so good. It was so refreshing. And the reason why I share that with you is because of the verse that we have. Elizabeth, the cousin of Mary, she said this in Luke chapter 1, verse 44. When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. Why did John the Baptist, the baby John the Baptist, jump for joy? Because of the presence of Jesus. My friend, 
this is, again, I repeat, I cannot address all the issues of mental health in a tiny, tiny video like this. But if there's one thing I'm going to invite you to do as a step one is to follow Jesus, to give your life to Jesus, to center your life on him and to make him your number one, to, to, to actually say, Lord, I surrender my life to you and I want to belong to you. And then just maybe you too will be like baby St. John the Baptist, that when you know that Jesus is there, you will jump for joy. You will have more joy in your life. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, I want to follow you. I want to belong to you. I want you to be the center of my life. Oh, Jesus, come into my heart and soul. Be the King and be the Lord. Forgive me for all my sins. And from this day on, I receive your love and I want to be your love in this world. In Jesus' name, amen.